Good morning. How are you? How are you, friends? Welcome to Circle Time. My name is Miss Monica. What's your name? Well, I'm so happy you came to Circle Time today. Oh, oh, do you hear that? Listen. Put on your listening ears. Oh, I think, I think I hear the good morning train coming. Yes, the good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing purple. Choo, choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing blue. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends. All of our friends wearing yellow. Choo, choo. Hello. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing brown. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing red. Choo, choo. Hello. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing green. Choo, choo. And we'll say hello to our friends. All of our friends wearing orange. Oh, I'm wearing orange. Choo, choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing pink. Yes. Choo, choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing white. Choo choo, hello. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing black. Hello, choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends, all of our friends. And we'll say hello to everyone that's come to circle. Choo choo. Good morning, friends. Thank you so much for coming to circle time. Thank you, good morning train. See you next week. Oh, I think I need my p -p 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 pointer. That's right, my circle time pointer. So we can review the circle time board and let's start with finding out what day it is today. What day is it today? Let's sing our days of the week song. Now remember, when you sing the days of the week song, you can clap your hands, you can snap your fingers, or you can just sing whatever you choose. Are you ready? Great! There's Sunday and this Monday, there's Tuesday and this Wednesday, there's Thursday and this Friday, and then this Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. One more time. There's Sunday and this Monday, this Tuesday and this Wednesday, this Thursday and this Friday, and then this Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. You did it! Great! Now let's find out what day is it today. Let's go over to our board. Yesterday was Thursday. Oh yes, dance party Thursday. So let's go down one. Do, 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 do. Oh, today is Friday. F Friday. That's right. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yes, today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yes, yes. Today is Friday. Let's put Friday on the board. Today is Friday. Can you help me read the sentence? Great. Today is Friday. Now, let's find out what our letter of the week is. Actually, you may remember. What's the letter of the week? This letter makes a special sound because every letter makes a sound and H. H says the letter of the week is H. We've been reviewing H all week, and all week you've been helping me figure out things that start with letter H. H for hot, hot, H for hat, hat. 
H for head. <gasps> head. That's right. Oh, H for hair. <gasps> hair. Oh, there's some other things that start with letter H. How about some things that we eat? Some people like to eat <gasps> hamburgers. <gasps> hamburgers. And some people like to eat <gasps> hot dogs. Dogs. Oh, can you think of some animals that start with letter H? Oh, let me hear. Horse, hamster, hedgehog, ooh, and hippo, hippopotamus, or some people like to say hippo. That's right. All of those things start with letter H. Every letter makes a sound, and H says ha, 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 ha. Let's put H on the board. Great. And today, we are going to practice writing the letter H. Are you ready to write today? Okay. But before we write the letter H, we're also going to go over our shape of the week, because we're going to draw the shape of the week as well. So let's go down to our shape of the week. Who remembers our shape of the week? Do you remember? Who remembers? Who remembers what the shape of the week is? What the shape of the week is? Who remembers? Who remembers what the shape of the week is? What the shape of the week is? I'll give you a clue. We were able to use our hands and our fingers to make this shape. We curled our fingers a little bit, put them together, touched our thumbs, and made a heart. H for heart. And our shape of the week is a heart. That's right. The shape of the week is a heart. Heart. That's our shape of the week. Let's put it on the board. That's right. Now it's time to write the letter H and draw the heart. If you need to stop the video and go get crayons or a pencil and some paper, you can do that. If you don't have those things, it's okay. You can use your pointer finger in the air and practice tracing. Okay? Everybody ready? Great! Meet me over at the drawing and writing board. Great! You made it! So, we're going to start with practicing our letter H first. Now remember, the letter H has two lines down, like this, and one line across. Let's try it with our pointer finger. Two lines down. Go down, back to the top, down, and then go to the middle, across. Just like that. Now let's practice it on the board. You practice it on paper, and if you don't have any paper, you practice it with your pointer finger. Here we go. I'm going to use green. Let's put this H back on the board. Okay, H, stay there. I'm going to use the green marker. Okay, everyone, let's start at the top. Ready? One line down. Go down and go back to the top and go down again and then go to the middle and go across so we can connect both lines. Look at that. Let's try another. Let's start at the top. Go down. Now let's go back to the top. Let's do another line. Down. Go to the middle. And go across. We connect both lines. Let's do another. Start at the top. Go down. Back to the top. Down again. Go to the middle, go across. Let's do another. Start at the top, go down, back to the top, down, go to the middle, go across. Again, start at the top, go down, back to the top, down, let's go to the middle and go across. Let's do another. Start at the top. 
Go down. Back to the top. Go down. Go to the middle. Go across. Let's do three more. Ready? Start at the top. Go down. Back to the top. Down. To the middle. Across. Two more, a little faster. Ready? Start at the top. Go down. Back to the top. Down. To the middle. Go across. Last one. Start at the top. Go down. Back to the top. Down. To the middle. Across. Letter H. Great work. Great work. You keep up the good work and keep trying your letter H. You have to keep practicing. This is our uppercase H or the big H. Now, I'm going to erase the board. While I erase the board, you can keep practicing if you want. And then we're going to practice the heart, the shape of the week. Okay, now we're ready to practice our heart. Our shape of the week is a heart, remember? And the heart has two sides that look the same. When we're drawing it, you'll be able to see the two sides that look the same. Okay, I'm going to put heart on the board, back on the board. I'm going to use the red marker to practice the heart. Okay, are you ready? So first, watch me. I'll do it once, then we'll do it together. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to start with my two dots. One dot at the top, one dot at the bottom. And we're going to start at the top. And take my marker and go up, around, and down. I have to touch that bottom dot. Now I'm going to go to the other side and try to make it look the same. Start at the top. Go up, around, and down. There you go, the heart. You see, it almost looks the same. Two sides that look the same. Let's try it together. Are you ready? Let's try it with the dots. Okay, we'll do it here. Okay, make a dot at the top. Make a dot down below at the bottom. If you need help, you can get help. Now, let's start at the top. Touch the top dot and go up and around, down, down to the bottom dot, boop. Look at that. Up, around, and touch that bottom dot. Now let's do the same thing on this side. Ready? I'll start at the dot. Go up and around, touch that bottom dot. Wow! How are you doing? Don't worry. We have to keep practicing. The more we practice, the better we get. Let's try it again. Two dots. One dot at the top. One down below. Let's start at the top. Okay, touch the top dot. Go up and around. And down, 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 touch that bottom dot. Now let's do it on the other side. Start at the top dot. Go up and around and touch the bottom dot. Another heart. There you go. Let's do it one last time. Are you ready? Let's do it. How about I'll try it right here. Okay, I'll put one dot at the top and I'm going to put one dot down below. These dots really help. And we're going to start at the top. Go up and around. Touch the bottom dot. Let's try it on the other side. The other side. Start at the top, up and around, and touch that bottom dot. Ooh, the heart. The shape of the week is a heart. Great work today. Great writing the letter H and drawing the heart. You keep practicing at home using your paper and your crayon or pencil or whatever you have. You keep practicing. Now, we're gonna go over, back over to our board. Now, let's go over to our number of the week. Who remembers the number of the week? 
Remember, this number has a one and a two. Do you remember? The number of the week is 12. 12 is our number of the week. It has a one and a two. The one is first and then the two to make 12. 12 is our number of the week. 12. Can you say 12? Great. Let's put 12 on the board. Okay, 12. 12 is on the board. Now, let's count our 12 houses. We have to make sure we have 12 houses. Can you help me count? I'll touch the houses with my pointer. You say them aloud. Ready? You count aloud. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Great counting. Thank you for helping me count. Now let's say the sentence. We have 12 houses. Help me say that sentence. We have 12 houses. Yes, we do. We counted them. Great counting. Now let's find out. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it raining out today? What's the weather where you live? You may have to look out your window and then come back and tell me what you see. I'll give you a little bit of time. Oh, are you back? Great. What's the weather where you live? What did you see? Oh, ooh. Really? Let me find out what the weather is here, where I live. I'm going to look out of my window. Mm. Mm. Oh, it is raining today. It's a rainy day again. Yesterday it rained here, where I live. And it's raining again. Do you think you can help me find a picture that represents a rainy day? Great. Which picture do you think represents a rainy day? You can point. Great. If you pick this one, you're correct. This is a picture of rain, a rainy day. And this one is actually a picture of snow. This was a snowy day. Let's save this for a snowy day. Let's put the rainy day on the board. Rain, rain. There we go. Now let's read the sentence. The weather is rainy. The weather is rainy. Yes, it is. Now it's time to help Mr. Weather Bear get dressed for a rainy day. Are you ready, Mr. Weather Bear? Are you ready at home? Great. Let's help Mr. Weather Bear. Do you think Mr. Weather Bear should wear rain boots or sneakers? It's a rainy day. You can point. Rain boots, yes. If you said rain boots, I agree. Let's save the sneakers for another day so his feet can stay dry. Let's put on the rain boots. Here are your rain boots, Mr. Weather Bear. Now, let's put on his favorite <laughs> blue jeans with the belt. Here you go, Mr. Weather Bear. And what kind of jacket should he wear? Hmm, should he wear his green jacket or his rain coat? What do you think? You can point. Oh, yes, let's wear his raincoat so he can stay dry. We'll save the jacket for another day. We'll put the raincoat on. Good idea. Oh, do you think he should wear something on his head? What should he wear on his head? Oh, a rain hat. He does have a rain hat. Let's see if I can find it. Here's his rain hat. Mr. Weather Bear's yellow rain hat. Let's put it on. There you go, Mr. Weather Bear. Is he ready to go? Oh, no. One more thing. What's that called? He should hold an um umbrella. 
Good idea. Let's get Mr. Weather Bear an umbrella. Oh, I think I have it. Here's his umbrella. How about this one? Great, let's give him his umbrella. Here you go, Mr. Weather Bear. There's your umbrella. I think he's ready for the rainy day. The weather is rainy and Mr. Weather Bear is dressed for a rainy day. Thank you for helping me. We did it. We finished the entire circle time board and we even practiced drawing our shape, the heart, and we even practiced writing the letter H. You did so much today and so much all week. Now we're ready to sing our circle time song. Today we're going to sing, there were 10 in the bed. Now let's pretend there were 10 <gasps> hippos. How about hippos? Good idea. Okay, let's use hippos. We'll pretend. Are you ready? If you don't know the song, it's okay. You can follow along with me. First, let's put up 10 fingers. 10, 10, 10, 10. Get ready, get ready. Here we go. There were 10 in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Ouch, oh no. Nine, there were nine in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. <gasps> Ouch! Eight! There were eight in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh! Seven! There were seven in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh! Six! There were six in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Ooh, uh-oh. Five. There were five in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh, no. Four. There were four in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh, three. There were three in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Ouch. Two. There were two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Oh, oh no, one. There was one in the bed and the little one said, ah, good night. That's it, that's the end of the song. All the other hippos rolled out of the bed and the little one was left all by himself. And he said, good night. <laughs> Thank you for singing with me and thank you for coming to Circle Time this week. I had such a good time. Now this is the end of our week, so I won't see you until Monday. Have a great weekend with your families. It's time to say goodbye. Bye.